Today we're going to work on the Sleep Depth Calculator project from JavaScript. This program will create, will determine the actual and ideal hours of sleep for each night of the last week and how far you are from your weekly sleep goal. So let's start. Number one, we're going to determine how many hours of sleep we got each night of the week. To do that, we're going to create a function that returns any given night's number of hours of rest by creating a function with a parameter for the day. Let's create a function named get sleep hours has one parameter, which is day, and we're all done with number one. Number two, the function should accept a day as an argument and return the number of hours you slept that night. So if you got eight hours of sleep on Monday night, calling get sleep hours Monday should return eight. You can use if else statement or switch. If you want to use if else statement, you can do if day equals Monday, return eight. Else if day equals Tuesday, return seven. And you're gonna do the same thing for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And lastly, you're gonna add else return error. I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to use the switch option now. So instead of using if else, you can use switch, switch day case Monday return a, and you're going to use a break. You're going to do the same thing for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And just like we used else to return error, you're going to use default return error for the switch. We're all done with number two. Number three, test the function by calling it multiple times and putting the results to the console. You can remove the test when you know your function works. Let's console log. I'm gonna call the name of the function and select a day. We got eight and we have here Monday eight. Let's try Wednesday five. Okay, so it's working. Number four, now we need to check the total sleep hours that you actually slept get the ideal sleep hours and calculate the depth. To do that, we're gonna create another function called get actual sleep hours. Let's comment this out. Const get actual sleep hours. There's no perimeter. Number five, inside the get actual sleep hours function call the get sleep hours function for each day of the week. You can use return. So you're gonna do constant get actual sleep hours. There's no perimeter and you can use brackets and return and we're gonna call each day of the week. Get sleep hours, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or you cannot use return and you would also not use the brackets. Let's save. Let's console log our new function, get actual sleep hours and see if it's working. We got 53, which is a sum of the hours slept in each day of the week. Number six, we're going to create a function named get ideal sleep hours. There's no parameter and we're going to declare a variable named ideal hours inside that function. So let ideal hours equals to your ideal hours per night. So I'm going to say eight and return ideal hours multiplied by seven. Return ideal hours times seven. We're all done with number six. Number seven, test your two new functions by calling them and printing the results to the console. We already tested get actual sleep hours. Now let's test get ideal sleep hours. Our ideal sleep hours would be 56. We're all done with number seven. Number eight, let's calculate the sleep debt. We're going to create a function named calculate sleep debt with no parameters. Inside of its block, create a variable named actual sleep hours and set it equal to get actual sleep hours function. Then we want to create another variable named ideal sleep hours and set it equal to get ideal sleep hours function. Constant ideal sleep hours equals get ideal sleep hours. Number eight is done. Number nine, now that you have actual sleep hours and ideal sleep hours, you can write a few if else statements to output the results to the console. So let's add here to our calculate sleep dead function an if else statement. If actual sleep hours equals to ideal sleep hours, we can console, you have got the perfect amount of sleep. Else if actual sleep hours is less than ideal sleep hours, we should log, you should get some more rest. I'm going to add another else if statement. 
actual sleep hours is greater than ideal sleep hours, you should log. You've got more sleep than you needed. And lastly, for our else statement, we should log on the console error check your code. Now let's call our function to see if it's working. I'm calling calculate sleep debt, and it says you should get some more rest. If you remember, when we calculated get actual sleep hours, the results were 53. And when we calculated the get ideal sleep hours, it was more than 53. So we're missing a couple hours to achieve our ideal sleep for the week. And that's why we're getting you should get some more rest. We're done with number nine. Number 10, to make this calculator more helpful, add the hours the user is over or under the ideal sleep for each statement. So we're going to go to calculate sleep depth and we're going to add over here. It says you should get some more rest. So we're going to add the hours that they actually need. So you should get an extra and the result of ideal sleep hours minus actual sleep hours, hours of sleep this week. And we're going to do the same thing for when you got extra sleep. So I've got an extra hours of sleep this week. And let's add plus ideal sleep hours minus actual sleep hours of sleep this week. We're done with number 10. Now for number 11, we're going to call the calculate sleep debt function and see if it's working. You should get an extra three hours of sleep this week. Now I added some space here after extra and before hours, and now we have it correctly. You should get an extra three hours of sleep this week. We're all done with number 11. Number 12 for extra practice, get actual sleep hours could be implemented without calling get sleep hours. You can use literal numbers and the plus sign. So this is how it looked before. We were calling get sleep hours Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we're gonna change that to the actual numbers. So I'm just gonna comment that out. And this is our new function, const get sleep hours, const get actual sleep hours, and you're gonna write the numbers that you set for each day of the week. Next, some people need to sleep longer than others. We write get ideal sleep hours so that you can pass an argument like get ideal sleep hours eight, where eight is the ideal hours per night. So you're gonna update get ideal sleep hours in calculate sleep deb two. So this was our answer before, const get ideal sleep hours, empty parameter, and we set let ideal hours to eight, return ideal hours times seven. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna create const get ideal sleep hours, and you're gonna pass ideal sleep hours as a parameter and return ideal hours times seven. And you're gonna change in the calculate sleep debt function, you're gonna pass eight as an argument. And if you save, it still works the same. You should get an extra three hours of sleep this week. And we're all done with sleep debt calculator JavaScript project.